Hey guys, Iggy with Dragon Blogger back again. Today, I'm going to be retiring my good old friend, the GeForce GTX 660 Ti, because, well, I can't really use eye candy on games anymore like I used to be able to. Uh, if I turn them on, the game just starts chugging along real slowly. I've gone ahead and updated to the EVGA GeForce GTX 970 SE Superclocked with four gigs of RAM, this guy only had two gigs of RAM, so even when I could use the eye candy, still chugged a little tiny bit, but I didn't care too much. I'm gonna go ahead and retire her and update. Here is the bad boy outside of the box. Super sweet and complete. So now I get just gotta get this guy out of here. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these guys. This card requires two slots, or one slot, one PCIe slot, but it takes up two ports since it is a double wide card. So you gotta take off two screws on here. Alright, and it did require, or does require, two PCIe by six connections. So thankfully the other card also requires only 2x6 pins. If your power supply doesn't have them, but it is powerful enough to run the card regardless, you're going to need to have two of these, which thankfully this video card does bring them. I don't need them, but for those of you that would, the card brings them, so you're pretty safe. Most other manufacturers would only bring one PCIe, even though you required two, but either way. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this, alright, simple enough. And now one very important thing that you're going to have to do, because some people might just try to pull the card out, you're going to mess up your board if you do. Let me show you why. So you can see right here, that's a PTI retention mechanism slot. So because of that you can't pull the card out. So in order to take the card out, you're going to have to push that little guy in. And you'll notice the card moved a little bit. Let me show you that again. Move a little tiny bit out. That's kind of the, the slot pushing the card out. So now it's easy enough. All we got to do is hold the card, pull it out and we're done. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put this bad boy in, but remember comes with a little protection mechanism down here just if anything to protect the pins, which again you don't want to touch with your fingers because the grease gets on there, it's going to mess up the connectivity a little bit so you just pull that out alright, and now you just have these the DVI ports match up with the PCI slot, so these two match up with these two, so slide them in, and then when that's there, now the card looks seated, it's not seated, it's just resting in there, it's slightly in the PCIe slot, and over here, so this little guy right here, is holding the card in, it's resting on top of the other screw. Card looks like it's in, it's not. So all you gotta do is give it a nice little push, and that's it. You've just put the card inside the PCIe slot. Now all we gotta do is put these two screws in. Okay, and we'll take the same approach with the top card. All right, so that's that puppy's in, and now let's go ahead and put these back in. When you cable your PC nicely, whenever you want to take anything in, 
I'm sorry, put anything in or take anything out, it's easy. Even taking out the motherboard, all I gotta do is undo this guy, string it across, undo this guy, string it across, undo these connections on here, undo that, and the motherboard comes right out. You saw, since it's cabled nicely, all I had to do was pull these two out, unscrew these, pop the card out, pop the card in, and it was done. So that's another advantage of cabling nicely inside of a system. So also, if you want to use SLI or try SLI, just take this little rubber piece off and you expose the SLI fingertips. Unfortunately, I don't have a second one, so I'm just going to put, back, put that back in there for now. That's about it for now. So for now, Iggy out.